Welcome to another adventure with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. This is Stu Jones, and I'm proud to present Florida Powerboat Club's 25-year celebration of the epic Key West Offshore Poker Run, presented by Mercury Racing and by Off Lease Only, which will present a grand prize Mustang convertible as they have for nine years running which will be taken home by the lucky winner. Altogether, 180 teams registered from all over the country, including Canada and overseas, all of them attending this five-day boating adventure from Miami to Key West and back. For this first episode, we're going to feature the Wednesday departure, and uh, here we are in Pompano Beach with Coast to Coast Helicopters, our uh, go-to helicopter aviation needs, all with Coast to Coast flying an R-44 today, as the uh, aerial crew will now pick up the gang at Hollowbur Marine Center, where we've got several teams launching, and uh, obviously this is a facility that has played a big role with the Florida Powerboat Club members uh, launching for these poker run events. And it's a big celebration, too, exactly one year ago, uh, that we opened the marina and it was an empty building at the time just starting to fill up but look how much it's changed in just one year as our drone team flies through the building with all of this activity of boats being launched and staged plenty of parking out back for the trailers and plenty of in-water docking for the boats as they stage for the beginning of today's run you can see that the weather is absolutely fantastic these november days are superb because there is very very low humidity uh, the temperatures are actually actually unseasonably warm. We're already getting close into the 80s. You can see everybody's wearing shorts and t-shirts on the dock here. And who would expect that in the middle of November? Take a look at some of the boats uh, in the water. A nice eclectic mix of power, a big outer limits there to the left. Uh, obviously a brand new skater there in the middle, Chris Bradley's boat from Texas. And uh, his dad's Nortec uh, getting ready to take off. Headquarter hotels here at the North Miami location, or we call it Sunny Isles, is uh, the Doubletree Ocean Point Resort, uh, which uh, is we're returning from last year. We had nice uh, one-bedroom and two-bedroom suites. The rates were fantastic, and everyone seemed to like the venue, so we've returned again. It's just a mile from Hallover Marine Center up Collins Avenue, so really there's a good assortment of hotels here along Sunny Isles Beach, and this is what makes this Hallover Marine Center a great departure point uh, for so many of the poker run teams that are coming in from out of town. And of course, with the much higher volume of people who were launching here at this location, we added the Trump International Beach Resort uh, to our list of ho headquarter hotels. It's just another half a mile up the road, and you can see how modern and luxurious it is. Everyone who stayed here loved the accommodations and the amenities here. And once again, just uh, only about a mile and a half from Hall of a Marine Center, making it very easy for teams to launch. And for those who get in early enough, you can see the weather is nice enough that a lot of people were taking the opportunity to enjoy the beach, uh, at least the ladies and maybe some of the kids while dad was getting the boat ready down at the marina. Let's check in back with Hallover Marine Center and just get an idea of all of the preparations and activities as everyone's getting wound up. There's some of our boys from Canada that just got in, uh, but this is a facility that, you know, is not new to a lot of us. I mean, the actual location is the Hallover boat ramp and they have had a marina and a gas dock here for years, but it was just a year ago that this new barn, which is three football fields long and stores a total of 508 boats on rack facilities and has, uh, I think, at least a couple of acres of parking. It wasn't until then that we really had the ultimate facility for staging big poker run events. And I want to thank John Lewis and his staff here at Hallover Marine Center and of course all of the team at Extreme Power Boats because they're a big part of the activities here too. They provide all the service for these high performance boats. But sadly, uh, the founder of Extreme Power Boats, Larry Goldman, passed away earlier in the year. So this is the first time in 25 years that Larry will not be present. And therefore, I've dedicated uh, the Key West Poker Run in the memory of Larry Goldman. Well, it looks like Kayla and Rochelle are getting their uh, FPC costumes ready for the ride today. We've jumped on board with David Berg in this big 43-foot Midnight Express, and that means the pace boat's getting ready to leave, so let's join in with our club members as we pull away from Hallover Marine Center and get ready for the poker run start. 
It's that time of year again. Key West, 2017, 25 years now with the Florida Powerboat Club on this signature poker run event as we get kicked off here in North Miami from Hallover Marine Center. About 35 boats today are going to run on the Wednesday run. A small group compared to the big group tomorrow, going to be close to 140 boats leaving from the same location, heading all the way from Miami down to Key West. We've got Kayla and Rochelle here with us on this beautiful sponsored 43-foot Midnight Express. Captain David Berg at the helm as we idle our way to the Hallover Inlet on this beautiful November day. It doesn't get much better than this, girls. What do you say? I mean, it is probably going to top 80 to 85 today. The winds are light out of the south. There's not a cloud in the sky, blue skies, and we're going to have a perfect day of boating as we head down to the Florida Keys with members of the Florida Powerboat Club on this signature 25th annual Key West Poker Run. Let's go! You can see there's quite a mix of boats here, uh, including Robert Lockyer's skater and this big center console, all kinds of V-bottoms and catamarans of all descriptions, and many of them powered by Mercury Racing, our presenting sponsor for the event. Well, we had about an eight-mile ride offshore. We skipped that part. It was a little bumpy out there, but now we're back inside the protected waters coming through the government cut and again across the south side of uh, Port Miami to Virginia Key. Helicopters picking us up right at exactly at the right time as we head through Rickenbacker Causeway into the open waters of Biscayne Bay. We're not going to open it up and head right to Key Largo. We're going to join our second location, which is Grove Harbor Marina, another staging location for many of our Powerboat Club members and obviously instrumental in helping us uh, with having two locations for boats to stage because with an event of this size, there's no possible way you could do it at one marina. And uh, by having Hallover Marine Center and Grove Harbor Marina work together, uh, this makes things work out very, very well. And we're also going to pick up a poker card. In fact, it's going to be our first poker card of the day here at Grove Harbor Marina as we uh, take a look at this fountain and Outer Limits who came in from Canada. I'm sure those guys are happy to be here. Uh, and here we are at Grove Harbor. Uh, now, of course, not the best situation for them as the Hurricane Irma had just passed through uh, about a month and a half earlier and doing a lot of destruction around their marina. And uh, it pretty much put a damper on some of their facilities uh, operations, but they did everything they could uh, to get the docks operational. Uh, and these guys, in fact, did an awesome job, Alan Lima and his crew, uh, because they were in bad shape here uh, during the months of September, just about a month and a half earlier. It was in really bad shape, and I'm surprised that they were able to pull it together this quickly and be able to host uh, some of these boats. But here we are doing our first card as John and Tracy Wittenberger come up to the dock uh, for their first poker card. Looks like Kayla and Rochelle are right on the assignment, uh, ready to hand out poker cards. And remember, this is a bonus poker card, and meaning that you're going to get five poker cards. Everybody who plays the event will get five cards automatically. But these cards that are given out at Grove Harbor Marina are a bonus card, which means it's adding a sixth card to your hand, which will be played out on Saturday night in the hopes of winning that Ford Mustang convertible offered by Off Lease Only. One thing is certain here, as you can see already, there are no two boats that are the same. And uh, more specifically, I'm really impressed at how far people will come to do this poker run event. And I'd like to pay tribute to Devin Wozencraft and his crew came all the way from California uh, with this uh, skater uh, powered by Twin Optimax uh, outboards. And uh, he's done a couple of poker runs here in this side of the country. But for a guy who's all the way from you know California, 
to be able to do poker runs on the East Coast, I think, is to me pretty impressive. And for those of you who travel so far, uh, you know, we do have an award for that uh, because we do place a lot of value on the fact that you guys will travel thousands of miles to come out here and join us for this big signature event. Here's another team, uh, Todd Fountain, uh, came all the way from Michigan with this very, very popular skater called Team Tomcat, and uh, one that we've seen on poker runs before, especially up in the Michigan area and Boyne Thunder. But uh, once again, uh, got a shout out to these guys who come a long way to attend this event, and I'm sure they're happy to be here, especially those guys who live up north in Canada or Michigan or the colder climates. Uh, this crew here came in from Ontario, um, and they were joined by the Outer Limits crew that are right behind them. So I know it's already starting to get cold up there, and this is a big event for them uh, almost every year. I saw these guys up at the Buffalo Poker Run last summer on the Niagara River and Lake Ontario. So it's kind of fun to get out and meet these guys in their own backyard poker runs in the summertime and then have them come down and join us uh, in the wintertime for Key West and other Florida events uh, that go down to the Florida Keys. Also can't say enough about the variety in all of the boats that we have, but uh, you've probably already noticed uh, as we see Joe Amoroso and his wife Christine in their brand new 44 Outer Limits, uh, you probably noticed a lot of Outer Limits boats and uh, it just so happens we've got several on today's run. And I want to thank Outer Limits uh, for being a sponsor of the Key West Poker Run year after year. Obviously they build a fantastic uh, V-Bottom product and they've experimented with some catamarans, but uh, I truly believe that they've really carved out their niche in, in the V-Bottom world. And this uh, Got to Go SV50 with 1350-1550s uh, is a perfect example of the quality of product that they build. Also going to see a lot of center consoles on this poker run, uh, not only on today's run, but again on Thursday. Uh, the highest percentage and probably the best representation of center consoles and this particular one at Nortec. And Nortec, of course, is back as a sponsor of the Key West Poker Run. And I believe that they're going to have upwards of 22 to 24 Nortecs registered. And of all of those boats, I think at least half of them are center console Nortecs. I want to thank the girls for doing a great job on their first card assignment, but we're back in the boats now, heading out from Grove Harbor to mill around and get ready for the Wednesday start. So as we uh, prepare for our southbound departure on Biscayne Bay, let's talk a little bit about today's uh, poker run course. Obviously, the weather's looking fantastic uh, in Biscayne Bay, and we are traveling on the protected waters here in the bay. We won't be going out into the ocean until the end of the day, as we leave from Marathon down to Key West. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and Florida Fish and Wildlife, while you don't see them here in this frame, they're nearby and they're going to be chasing us along on the course from Miami through the entire course all the way down to Key West. We've really ramped up our safety management efforts for this poker run, uh, not only on the Wednesday, but also on the Thursday run. And that's where those safety management fees go, guys. Uh, they're for hiring you know, qualified professional uh, paramedics and safety crews to be out here on the course to help you if anything goes wrong. Catching up with uh, Team Black Diamond here, and this is a hard thing to do. We don't very often get Team Black Diamond in a full frame because they're usually running about 150, 160, and they don't like to wait around for the helicopter. So if you're in the chopper, you got to get down and get on them at the start of the run. Otherwise, they're going to be as good as gone. And the new sister ship, well, she's not that new. It's been over a year now since Black Diamond Express showed up on the scene. And she is just going to put alongside the 52 MTI, her sister ship. And when the time is necessary, she's got plenty of fuel, race fuel on board to pump into the 52. Join me in welcoming Miami-Dade Fire Rescue uh, Fireboat 1, one of our safety management team boats. There's other boats already on the course heading south, uh, and they're going to intercept the crew as they head down to Key Largo. Okay, this is it. Pick a boat. Let's, let's go with this guy. Well, whoever leaves. Watch this county, Miami-Dade plane. Okay, we got to start. We got to start. Let's get in on the first boat. Okay. Drop in on him. Well, let's get in front of him. One, one more look back. One more look back. 
Are they going? Yeah, he's going. He's yeah. going. Here he comes. He's coming uh, like under us. Do you see him? Get, get just a little bit lower. Seven o'clock. Yeah, drift to the right just yeah, slightly. Yeah, to the, the right. right. Get lower, get lower, get lower. Here he comes. Lower. Here he comes. He's at seven o'clock. Almost. Take it to the right a little bit. To the right, to the right. Way to the right. He's going under us. And here he comes. Okay. See him? To the left. Now to the left. We'll go find him. <laughs> I don't know. I see him. I really enjoyed that segment from up in the helicopter listening to the guys calling out the shots. Uh, let's catch up now with Greg Harris, Yvonne Alleman in this 32-foot uh, skater. Uh, it's their first poker run with Florida Powerboat Club in this brand new boat. For them, uh, twin Mercury Racing 700s, and I know that is one fast ride. Another fast skater as we catch up with Bo and Tiffany Renfro from Georgia. Uh, team Dirty Money. They've done a bunch of poker runs with this skater. Uh, first time we saw it was Emerald Coast, I think a year and a half earlier. Uh, but since then, they've done a lot of runs. And congratulations on their new home in Pompano Beach, which they use to get away from the cold weather and come down in uh, South Florida and have some fun. And, of course, uh, yet another skater, but it's the uh, first outboard skater we've seen running today, Robert Lockyer, uh, who's actually from Florida and from Massachusetts and from England. He's from, he's a multinational, <laughs> but he's really happy with his 400 hours. He repowered this boat uh, earlier this year, and he says he's just loving these new 400s. Boat's running great. Back up here with a bird's eye view from the R44 is our aerial crew. Uh, hones in on all these teams one after one. They've got great conditions here for getting some nice photography. Now we're catching up with Darren and Danielle Peters uh, from the 905, I call it. They're from Ontario. And uh, their first poker run with this 46-foot Outer Limits uh, powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. And I know that we've seen this boat before. It's owned, been owned by a couple different people that have attended the Key West Poker Run. So once again, we keep the boat in the club and we recruit some new blood. Good to see my Canadian counterparts here coming down. And uh, they're from just not far from where I grew up in Ontario. So nice to see you guys come all the way about 1,600 miles to join us for this weekend. Another Canadian team, uh, actually they were in tow together with the previous team. This is uh, Chris and Jennifer Grant from Toronto, Ontario. Uh, 2007 uh, 42 Fountain Lightning, uh, powered by twin Mercury Racing 600s on uh, IMCO drives. Uh, I'm not sure if they're Mercury 600 SEs, but they could be 502s pumped up. But it doesn't matter. It's a fountain and it looks great and it's running great for them. So they're happy <laughs> hanging out in the Florida Keys. Another guy who's very happy to be here, I know for sure, Devin Wozencraft. Uh, I mentioned earlier how far they came from California to join us. Uh, their first actual doing the Key West run in Devin's 30 skater. It's powered by Twin Mercury 300 XS Optimax, uh, two-stroke, kind of a racing platform motor, uh, essentially really good for this a skater. It's got a great power to weight ratio. It's not a big heavy four-stroke like the Verado, uh, but uh, 3.2 liter. Uh, six-cylinder, low-emission, two-stroke engine. It's ideal for this boat, and I know they're having a great result. Now let's welcome uh, Stephen Rack and uh, his wife, Ashley Rack. Came all the way from Connecticut uh, with this 50-foot Outer Limits team, Gotta Go. Obviously a boat that we've seen before. It attended this event last year, a 50-foot SV with Mercury Racing 1350 and 1550 dual fuel motors. Interesting story that the Racks told me. They had a Doug Wright ordered and they were going to attend the poker run, but the boat wasn't ready. So they went out and literally a week before they bought this boat from the Outer Limits factory from Danny and said, you know what, let's just ship it straight to Key West and go do the run. So they just got in the boat really uh, a few days ago. This is the first time they've driven the boat 
And so obviously these guys are pumped up uh, doing their first poker run with their new Outer Limits. And a seasoned veteran with the Florida Powerboat Club, David Berg from Texas in his 43-foot Midnight Express, giving us a platform as our official pace boat. And you can tell we're going really slow right now because you know those guys up in the helicopter are bark barking out orders to us <laughs> to slow down and get some good pictures. Why? I can't guess why they want to get good pictures of this boat. I'm just wondering why. Well, oh, obviously because they're a sponsor. <laughs> yes, of course, uh, Rochelle and Kayla did add to the ambiance and to the, uh, the beauty shots. So we slowed the boat down and got some beautiful photography. You're watching video right now, but the stills were fantastic. And you might see this boat uh, as a cover boat on one of our future copies of the Power Boating in Paradise magazine, because these pictures were incredible. But I do want to thank David uh, for giving us a great platform to ride today and all of his crew. Uh, and uh, we really enjoyed riding on this Midnight Express, and we want to welcome them back to the club. They've already announced that they will be returning as a 2018 Florida Powerboat Club Series sponsor. Another center console and another dedicated uh, team of veterans. Uh, the Wittenbergers have been longtime members with the Florida Powerboat Club. I remember John and Tracy bringing their Donzi on the Miami Boat Show Poker Run probably 10 or 12 years ago, uh, but now they're in this... Uh, Sonic Roadster, a center console powered by twin Mercury 350 Verados. Uh, the girls are up front and enjoying the ride and enjoying the beautiful day. And uh, the guys are just chilling out in the back underneath the T-top. But a perfect situation on a beautiful day. It doesn't get much better than this. And I want to thank the Wittenbergers for being diehard supporters all year long. They've done at least four poker run events with Florida Powerboat Club this year. And I like to see that support. And I hear that they're already registered for the first event in 2018. So I look forward to seeing them then. One of our Miami veterans, Dr. Eno Halegua, uh, in his 38-foot cigarette Top Gun, Team Grease Lightning, Mercury Racing 525s, and pretty standard uh, poker run package here. A lot of these boats in the club, obviously several hundred of these 38 Top Guns manufactured over the years right here in Miami. It's a design that has stood the test of time, and I'm sure we'll see many, many more 38 Top Guns over the years to come. Another Outer Limits and another one of the 46 Limiteds uh, that came out about 10 or 11 years ago, most of them with 1075s, and that's how Donnie Snyder is set up. Uh, it's, he's new to the boat, Team Blueprint, uh, his first poker run with the Florida Powerboat Club in this Outer Limits, and looks like they're having a fantastic ride today uh, all the way from Connecticut, so I know they're out of the cold weather and enjoying this incredible ride through Biscayne Bay. Closer look now at this 34 Black Diamond Express, uh, sister ship to the 52 Black Diamond, and one of the uh, boats that's owned in the fleet uh, from Derek Walkup. Derek's not driving the boat; he's actually in his 52 right now. But uh, you know, I think I think that his guys take care of. Uh, driving this boat as well as their other cigarette, which is a 42 Huntress. And whenever you see Black Diamond around, you know there's going to be two boats in tow uh, because that's how they travel. They like to bring the fleet everywhere they go. And uh, it's a great combination for the poker runs. Of course, I mentioned earlier, this boat does have fuel bladders in it that do carry uh, racing fuel, 112 octane, which will eventually be pumped into the sister ship uh, Black Time in uh, 52. Continuing on through Biscayne Bay, we're getting closer to Key Largo now as we catch up with Josh and Terry Ann Pierce, came all the way from Kansas, so that's a good hike, probably about 16, 1700 miles. Looks like they got a big crew, a lot of smiling faces and life jackets on. So big shout out to you guys. High five for following the safety guidelines. Gotta love this fountain, a 2000 Lightning a pair of Mercury Racing 500 EFIs. It's an, about as old school as you get in the fountain world. An 18-year-old boat looks like it's in great shape. Of course, it's a freshwater boat uh, coming all the way from Kansas. And uh, nice to see you guys join us here today. A special sponsor shout out to Jared and Heather Morris uh, back again from Sensation Power Boats with their 34 Sensation uh, CCX model. Love these silver and the blue highlights alongside and a black bottom, black bottom matching those black motors. Uh, triple 400 Arvorados. A pretty stout package here for this 34 foot center console and a lot of 
amenities on board. Uh, obviously very well equipped with electronics. You can see that satellite receiver on top. Uh, but this is about as good as it gets. It's the top of the food chain for Sensation Center Console product. Of course, they make a lot of 32s as well, a very popular model. And they are represented uh, by Performance Boat Center down at the Poker Run Village, who will also have a 32 Sensation on display. But thanks to Sensation Power Boats for continuing their support of the Key West Poker Run. Nice to have you guys back. And from what I call my own version of Team Black, the Oklahoma crew, Derek Wacob's uh, team, the third boat in their fleet, this uh, Plan B is a 42-foot cigarette Huntress powered by five Mercury Verado 400Rs, uh, so 2,000 horsepower pushing this big 18 or 19,000 pound platform. Probably more like uh, 22, 23, the way they have it rigged out. And if any of you have never seen the cabin of these 42 Huntress, Take a look in that big center section of the boat. Underneath is a massive cabin uh, with a bed and a bathroom and sink and all the amenities of a regular cruiser. And it's all here in this center console, which still has room for easily 15, 20 people comfortably on board. Now let's welcome Jim Schultz uh, and the factory billet team in this 51-foot Outer Limits GTX. And I remember when this boat came out back in, I think, 2008, uh, Jim was very active with the club uh, for a little while there. And I think it had Mercury Power at the time, probably 1075s. But he's gone back to the shop, and uh, they designed and built their very own motors. These factory billet motors pump out 1,950 horsepower each. That's, do the math, guys, that's almost 4,000 horsepower in this Outer Limits, which we know is already an incredibly fast bottom to begin with. Uh, but they have cranked up the uh, throttles here, and you can tell that <laughs> you're looking at the speed here. They're going about 120 right now, and they got plenty of room to go. Uh, and they're about to lose the helicopter, I'm certain. But thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, Factory Billet is a sponsor of the 25th Annual Key West Poker Run, and they are putting on a fantastic show. The boat's going to be docked at the Poker Run Village. In a future episode, we'll get a closer look at that impressive engine room. So happy to see Roger and Pam Anderson all the way from Texas enjoying their Nortec 39 center console, a boat that they purchased, uh, oh, I guess about a year ago, I think. This was probably their first event with this new Nortec. Uh, they decided to keep the Fountain 42 Lightning back in Texas, but this is their Florida boat, and they have been loving it, doing poker runs uh, all over the country. They had a little bit of a health scare earlier this year. Pamela did, but she's feeling a little better, and they're back on the water, and I can't thank them enough for making the effort to get out here and join us in Key West uh, for this 25th annual celebration. Looks like we're now reaching the uh, southern section of Biscayne Bay, crossing into what we call Barnes Sound, and that was the Card Sound Bridge we just went through. So that means it's only about another five or six miles to Jewfish Creek, uh, but I just love this shot when the helicopter gets down low and gets the boats as they exit the Card Sound Bridge and make that turn and start crossing over Barnes Sound. Looks like everybody is just chilling out today, having a nice ride. Look at the spacing of these boats and the way everyone is just taking it easy probably managing about 55, 60 mile an hour cruise, maybe up to 65, 70 on the straightaways. But this is how a poker run needs to be run, guys. So take note, I realize there's only 35 boats on today's run, but it doesn't matter if there's 35 or 135. This is how it needs to be done all the time because everyone is having a great ride and nobody's up on top of the boat in front of them. Everyone's got their own lane, just chilling out, enjoying the ride. And really, this is how you keep it safe. And this is really what we'd like to see more of uh, as these boats pass their way into Key Largo. There's a shot of Gilbert's, but you can see the boats are gonna go right by Gilbert's. Sadly, I must say, because we love stopping at Gilbert's. But what you can't see is their docks are pretty much in bad shape. They're, I won't say ruined, but they're pretty much condemned. Here's what it looked like just two months earlier after Hurricane 
Irma passed through Key Largo and you can see the entire property was flooded and the swell did some additional damage to the docks so even though they've reopened for business uh, it's impossible for us to bring in a big poker run there uh, for safety reasons and we're just going to have to pass by and head down towards Ferro Blanco. That's about it for the first segment of this eight part series featuring the 25th annual Key West Poker Run presented by Mercury Racing. This is Stu Jones and I want to remind you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel Florida Powerboat Club and for some of you who are on Instagram you can follow me at StuFPC where I'll be continuing to post lots of great images and videos from our Key West events and many of the Florida Powerboat Club adventures. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next episode here featuring Key West coverage.